story time, but stick with me here because I promise you this all circles back to a design aesthetic that we're getting to. So the other day I went shopping at my local Williams-Sonoma. Yes, this is it. This is my actual Williams-Sonoma. It's like in a town center. It's so cute. Yes, there's like this brick. It's just really cute, right? So you walk in and you're just like kind of, you know, Williams-Sonoma has great stuff, but it also sort of like sells to you with the air of luxury that's in the space. You know, an overpriced jelly bean that you just have to buy because it feels so rich. Everything from their copper pots to this to that, everything just feels so high-end and aesthetic and beautiful and like it's just going to elevate your life. And I also realized something else. All of the women there reminded me of her. The epitome of a Nancy Myers movie. So this is Something's Gotta Give, but we could rinse and repeat with uh, Meryl Streep in What's the Other One? It's complicated. What's the name of that movie? I don't remember. Anyways, my point being, the women there all have this like short, blonde, starting to go white haircut. They all give the, my kids are in college or graduate, give the vibe that these kind of copper pots are all over my house. And if you came to my house, I would not only make you a chicken in one of these simmering sauces that costs $1 million, but I would also make you a homemade pie from the fruit in my yard that you would be incredibly impressed by. I'm talking, they give you old school retiree California kind of money. And it clicked to me that this sort of Nancy Myers kind of collected and curated over time aesthetic is a symbol of a rich life, a happy life, having checked off all the American boxes of having getting married, having financial success, having had kids, being the mom, being the homemaker. And this is sort of how we symbolize it in design. Yeah, the Nancy Myers look is definitely timeless. It's beautiful. I love it as well. But if you're going for like this French country kitchen look, this is how to get it. Copper pans, extreme, you know, ranges, cooking croissants, pot fillers. Long story short, not only do I love the William Sonoma aesthetic, but I also sort of look at it as like a vision board of life. You know what I mean? Like. We all want to be that woman who works at William Sonoma, not because she needs the money, but because it's just like a fun hobby and she loves to make a pie.